Hollywood, the city dreams are made of. It's the playground of the world's biggest actors, rock stars and foreign dignitaries alike. We've all seen where they eat, where they party, where they shop. But when they need to book a room, which hotels do they stay at? They stay at places like the iconic Beverly Hills Hotel and the chic West Hollywood edition. Why? I'm Nikki Kelvin, my friend Jules and I booked to stay at these two hotels to answer just that. Welcome to Hollywood. So I've just come into the lobby of the edition and as is usual for editions, the lobby is impressive. It's a wide, expansive, chic room. It's not a room, it's like a hall. It's gorgeous. There's a pool table and there's a bar. It's a very social space. Even ahead of me here, there's a fire that you can sit around. It's like outside. Anything you want here is pretty much available to you in a chill, enjoyable atmosphere. This is the Beverly Hills Hotel. For over a century, it's been the place to be and be seen. Everyone feels like a celebrity, and many of them are. Hi. Thank you. Oh, wow, I love it. I have so much space here. Wow. This is next level. I'm kind of speechless. This is rare for me, but I'm blown away. The whole room feels very addition. It's very minimalist, very chic. It's pale, calming tones everywhere you go. And you sort of feel relaxed as soon as you walk in. It's chic taken to another level, but it's also super simple. If you're into fussy, busy, chintzy, this is not the place for you. This is clean, Scandinavian, pure vibes. When you walk into the room, you have a lovely little dining table with a marble effect on it. Just beyond that is a living room with a sofa and a huge television. On the other side of the wall is the bedroom, a big, giant, comfortable bed with beautiful sheets. That will be providing the most unbelievable night's sleep and a massive bathroom with a separate shower and toilet. There's even a second toilet actually in the living room and also a bathtub, a rarity in a lot of hotel rooms these days. All the toiletries in the room are provided by the Labo. What sets this room apart massively, and this obviously isn't every room in the hotel, is this terrace. It's huge. There's a little dining area here. There's a sofa, there's two comfy chairs and two beds. You could have a right party out here, let me tell you. This is the dream. Here we are, home sweet home. Oh, wow. This is very spacious. I have a whole living room. You guys, this is a legit fireplace. Like we've got wood, we've got matches, we've got fire starter stuff and pokers, but I don't know how to use any of this. I'm gonna have to call someone. There's a nice little workstation right here. So we've got plenty of options if you gotta get on the computer. Ooh, and I have my own private outdoor space. All right, let's take a look at the kitchen. Oh, awesome, this is a big kitchen. All right, let's check out the bathroom. Ooh, I love it, this is cool. I've got a shower, I've got a bathtub. And oh my gosh, this toilet, it knows you're coming as you approach. It just, <laughs> it just knows what to do. Love this, I've got a TV in the mirror. Oh wow, this is the bedroom, beautiful. I love the wallpaper, it's my favorite color, it's pink, matches my dress. All the details here from the lamps to the wallpaper, just really, scream old Hollywood. Now it's time for the true test, the TPG bed test. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> this is so nice. It's like I'm on a cloud. And right here, right next to the bed, all different lighting designs, so whatever you're in the mood for, you can easily reach all of the lights right here from bed. 
I was given a special opportunity to tour the presidential suite and presidential bungalow, and it was so much fun to imagine the stories and the people who stayed there. You know, my favorite thing about the presidential suite is the view. Gorgeous, quintessential LA, just looking out the window. You get to walk onto the veranda. It's quite long, and you just get to see some of the mansions in the neighborhood, the palm tree lined streets. It's pretty spectacular. And it was kind of almost railroad style the way the place was laid out. They had a dining room and a kitchen on the end, uh, a living room in the center with the with really cool furniture. I just love the green couch with the chase and the decorative rug and just interesting pieces. Everything was like a work of art. The study was interesting. And then the end was the bedroom. I really have a chance to check out the big bathroom. The presidential bungalow was such a neat little hideaway. You can just imagine the kind of parties and events and celebrations people had there. One of my favorite things about the presidential bungalow is the bathroom. There's this beautiful tub, which you can just imagine like having a bubble bath in there. <laughs> and at the end, there's a shower that actually leads to another shower, an outdoor shower. It was just so unique. The presidential suite and bungalow combine the best of the hotel all in your own exclusive package. Throughout the history of Hollywood, this pool has been the place to be. Raquel Welch and Robert Evans were discovered here by Hollywood elite. Hey, maybe I'll get discovered. You know the song Hotel California by the Eagles? Well, it's referencing this hotel. So I have the signature drink. This is the Hotel California. It's mint, agave, and lime, and watermelon juice. Mm. I think we should enjoy this in my own private cabana. I'm in the Brentwood Cabana, and what's so fun is that all of the cabanas are named after Los Angeles neighborhoods. You really feel like you're a celebrity when you're inside. The cabanas come with a complimentary fruit plate, and of course you can order whatever you're hungry for from the Cabana Cafe, which is right next door. So speaking of which, I'm famished. Surely the sexiest feature of this hotel is right here, the swimming pool. On the rooftop, right by the bar, is this stunning swimming pool where you can enjoy incredible views of Los Angeles in front of you, beds to chill out on, and I hear at the right time of day and in the right weather, quite a scene. Right now, it's pretty chill, but it's not gonna stop me getting changed and having a swim. This is bliss. So we're up here on what is called the roof, on the roof of the Edition Hotel. And here you can get drinks, snacks, and also some more substantial food. And I've ordered lunch up here because the weather's gorgeous and the views are insane. So I'm gonna have a lovely little meal up here. Lunchtime, I'm here at the Cabana Cafe, and this is so nice to dine al fresco. Got a view of the pool and just really comfortable. You've got retractable blinds if you're in the sun or in the shade, however you want. And there's even heaters, so if it's a chilly day, you feel really warm. It's so nice to just try everything. I've got the McCarthy salad. This one is super famous. And this is the lobster caviar roll, something really only at the Cabana Cafe. And I got a side of Parmesan truffle fries. One real jewel in the addition crown is this R door, the restaurant on the ground floor that is open for breakfast from 7 to 11. It's open for dinner after 6 p.m. But I'm here right now for brunch. It's only on a Saturday and Sunday. It's on infatuation as one of LA's best brunches. So surely that was the meal that I had to check it out for. 
The menu's not vegetarian, but there's a lot of good veggie stuff on there. Not just like your classic Benedict, which you can get, or like a delicious omelette. And something that I can't quite take my eyes off, the waffle fried chicken. Gotta be that. Might have to be. Will I live to regret this giant order? Maybe, but do I need to try all this stuff for you so you can see it? I think so. I'm at the Polo Lounge. I've got my signature drink. This is pretty in pink. Mm. And Sal is making me steak tartare table side. This is fun. This looks absolutely outrageous. I, I can't actually believe how big this is, but we're gonna give it a good go. I think I'm gonna start with this gorgeous looking crispy chicken with a Cajun maple sauce. Are you joking? Mm. Oh, it's juicy, crunchy, spicy, sweet with this sauce on it. Mm. The refreshing, crunchy slaw complements it perfectly. Next level brunch dish. French toast is like the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life and so beautiful. Wow. Again, soft, fluffy, saucy, creamy, fruity. This is divine. And washed down with what almost looks like a healthy cocktail, next level. Cheers. So I just got back from dinner at the Polo Lounge and you could really feel the magic in the air. And dinner was really delicious. I got to try a number of things. First of all, the bread bowl was really delicious because there's actually three types of bread from the flatbread to the blue cheese bread to a little pretzel roll. For my starter, I got steak tartare which they actually make table side. And for dinner, I ordered the filet mignon, which was so yummy. The meat was so tender, just easy, like melt in your mouth. And for dessert, super fun, I ordered the souffle of the day peanut butter cup. And it was yum, like sometimes you get bites with like warm, gooey peanut butter cup in your mouth. <laughs> it was so tasty. So yeah, it was just a really enchanting evening and I can totally see why the Polo Lounge is a favorite among the stars. The Gym of the Edition is down on the ground floor of the hotel and it's very well stocked. Lots of natural light, machines all over the place. You've got your running machines, you've got your other cardio machines, you've got free weights, you've got weight machines, everything any old gym bunny like me would like. And just if you want to have a workout, they've got you covered. I'm at the Beverly Hills Hotel Spa and it's my lucky day. I scheduled a 60 minute hot stone massage. So I'm very excited. I've been traveling a ton, so this is exactly what I need. It also really annoys me in a gym when they don't give you the stuff you need. Like, don't give me a water fountain with a trickly bit of water. Give me a nice carton. Give me an apple. Give me a towel. The Edition Gym has all that. I feel so relaxed. That hot stone massage. She used pink Himalayan salt rocks. The stones are in all different shapes, even a heart. I just thought it was cute because this hotel, everything is pink or green, and so of course they have matching rocks. <laughs> Snacks are good, but I'm really here for a drink, so I'm gonna order a cute little cocktail to enjoy these incredible views with. I'm going all Harry Styles on you, a watermelon sugar. Hi. Thanks so much. <laughs> Stunning. I'm at bar 1912, enjoying one of their signature cocktails. This is Hollywood. And look at this great view. This is Sunset Boulevard. I've got like a picture perfect postcard of LA. Palm trees, sunshine. Who could ask for anything more? Cheers. One of my favorite things about the hotel is that it's pink. 
The whole aesthetic is super adorable. It's totally my style. I love how it has so much charm. I mean, the banana leaf, it covers all of the hallways. When you're walking through the garden, you can even see different plants and beautiful flowers and it really ties into the theme. I want to take pictures everywhere, but I have to refrain because no pictures allowed. In a lot of cases, you'll see signs posted, especially around the pool or even walking up the driveway. I got yelled at a little bit, <laughs> but I have to say the service was top notch. I just really feel like people went above and beyond to make sure that I was comfortable and, and that's the level of service here at the hotel. When you stay at the Beverly Hills Hotel, you are surrounded by all this history. You can see pictures on the walls and you can just imagine all of the stories and the people who have spent time here. And just for a moment, you feel like you're part of that. And that's the feeling I take away from this experience. Well, 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 the West Hollywood edition, what can I say? I have been obsessed with this place, actually. First up, the hotel overall is chic, it's sexy, it feels really cool and glamorous. From that huge, incredible lobby with the bar inside there that really creates this vibe and a scene, all the way to the amenities like that rooftop pool, the excellent and fully stocked gym, and the variety of excellent dining options, from the food that you can get on the roof to Ardor, which is actually probably one of my favorite restaurants in LA. I've eaten here even when I'm not staying at the Edition. My room was next level. I absolutely loved it, and I did feel very spoiled having this room with the terrace. However, not all the rooms are like that, but I have stayed in the regular rooms and they are amazing too. The rates here start at around $600 per night, which actually isn't a bad price for the kind of room and service and amenities that you're gonna get. To get a room like my one, it's gonna cost you a fair bit more. But remember, you can also book this hotel using Marriott Bonvoy points and ice all night starting as low as 77,000 points per night, which is actually a pretty great deal. I like the location here, West Hollywood is great for me, I can get to everywhere that I want to go, you can get to hikes, you can get to the beach, it's not too far away, get downtown if you need to go there. One other thing to know is the service that you get here, I found the staff so helpful, so lovely and actually these little touches like your name being remembered, like when I went back up to the pool at the end of the day when I'd been there in the morning, they greeted me by my name without even looking, it's those little touches that make you feel special. This is a hotel that will make you feel special because it's a special place and I wouldn't hesitate to stay here again.